Bob Hall. Bob graduated from Strasburg High School where he lettered three years in baseball. He attended the Al Summers Umpire School in Florida. He was offered a minor league baseball league umpiring contract. He umpired Little League and college baseball for 45 years. Served as director of umpires, commissioner, and president of the Tuscarawas County Class A League. The Bob Hall Award is given by the Cy Young Tuscarawas County Old Timers Baseball Association. Bob had over 52 years of service to Tuscarawas County Baseball. Please welcome into the Tuscarawas County Sports Hall of Fame, Bob Hall. <clears throat> Thank you. Pretty hard to follow and act like Sammy Fosto. Uh, I've known Sammy for a lot of years. Probably the most, most honest, greatest people I ever met in my life. Thank you for being here, Sam. The committee, I can't say enough for what you've done here in Tuscarawas County for the grand old game of baseball and all other sports. When Coach Hannon called me, he told me, are you going to be inducted to the Hall of Fame? I said, are you sure you got the right guy? I never did it for any recognition. I did it because I loved the game and God gave me the ability to do it, providing I remember what my dad said. Respect is something you earn, it's not something that's given to you. And I challenge everybody to remember that. I'd be very remiss not to mention my wonderful family. A special thank you to my niece who flew in tonight from Dallas, Texas. My wonderful wife of 59 years almost Tell you a little story about her. You know, we, she actually started to go into games with me and I was umpire before we got married. One of the key things she didn't understand when the game started, why my name changed. <laughs> she couldn't understand that. But, you know, it was an old thing. Sometimes the apple don't fall far from the tree. But let me tell you, the baseball apple in our family was huge, fell, still prosperous today. I want to talk to you just briefly about our family and the grand old game of baseball. Our three sons, our son Bob, managed Little League, had a lot of Little League championships at Wainwright. Anybody ever heard of Wainwright? <laughs> he was very good at that, very good umpire. Think of this, had the honor of watching his own son win a high school state championship in baseball for Indian Valley High School. That's very premier because there's only ever been two high school state championships in baseball in Tuscarawas County. Our son Jason coached many years Little League in Dover, right on, got to manage his own son in a state championship game. Now, I didn't hear him mention Matt as being involved in baseball, but he was because anytime his brothers needed money to keep their program going, guess who they called? They call Brother Matt. He's a banker. <laughs> so, but listen, I challenge any grandparent what the game of baseball means to me and what my grandchildren have given is unreal. I've got to see three grandsons win a state championship. I've got to watch one grandson pitch a new hitter. Now apparently at that game, his younger brother, Aiden, must have been there, and he thought, hey, I can do better than that. Well, guess what he did? He pitched a, no a perfect game. You don't get very many perfect games. For me to sum up my career, it's the greatest gift that God could have given me other than my wife and family. The many wonderful people who are in the room here tonight, even Dan Jinks, what a phenomenal guy. I used to be able to hide behind Dan, but he was catching <laughs> The ball players I had over the years, the spectators, the coaches, I enjoyed the spectators. Hey, never bothered me. If you get caught up in responding to the spectators, you got rabbit ears. Just go out and do your job, forget about it. I thank you again to the committee. You've done an outstanding job. And I hope and pray that when this is all over, we go home today, we remember one thing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Thank you. <laughs>